You're looking at the largest container ship to ever stop over on the east coast of the United States. At 366 meters, it's the length of roughly four American football fields. It can carry 14,000 six-meter containers. Built in South Korea, the CMA CGM Theodore Roosevelt began its journey in Hong Kong. Its arrival at the Port of New York and New Jersey in September was cause for celebration. We can't overstate what today is all about. It is a game changer. It will change the economic engine. It will supersize the economic engine in New York and New Jersey. Bigger ships like this can pass through because of two infrastructure overhauls, the opening of new locks at the Panama Canal last summer and the raising of the Bayonne Bridge in New York and New Jersey. This project, this great accomplishment, is critical to both the nation and the region. This port will maintain its position as the premier port in all of America, if not the world. Last year, the port's share of Asian imports was 36 percent of the East Coast market. That's a drop from 43 percent in 2010. The hope among officials is that the mega ships will boost that percentage higher. The infrastructure changes mean goods can now be shipped directly from Asia to New York, bypassing other ports of entry. It also means less of a reliance on more costly rail delivery service. Marc Bourdon, the president of global shipping group CMA-CGM, says shipping costs will drop. He says it marks a new chapter in commercial shipping. Ultimately, uh, our ability to meet uh, the market growth uh, and the demand of the market is now being uh, answered uh, thanks to this, uh, to this infrastructure. Otherwise, we would have had to rely on much smaller vessels, which are much less efficient, more costly to run. There are also environmental benefits. Bourdon says the newer mega ships pollute less carbon dioxide per unit shipped than some of the smaller, older vessels. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.